we got a birdie video ranking every school subject now for y'all y'all in school the current moment what's your favorite subject what's your favorite subject <clears throat> math okay math being your favorite subject nah you're just different you're just different i don't give a Tommy, you're stupid oh my god you don't know yes yes math it's ridiculous when math started adding letters to it i was done that's when i quit history history is valid history i feel like history is pretty valid i used to like history spanish science honestly anything but math is valid all right but let's see what's, what bird is talking about ranking every school subject ranking every subject in school as somebody like myself who is an academic weapon when it comes to cheating in school so i would say mm. i'm pretty qualified to rank all of these subjects starting from the best going all the way to the worst all right and let's the go best one we gotta start with is lunch i already know i'm getting is lunch a school sub <laughs> is lunch a school subject i mean this would be valid now this isn't a subject though technically yes nah lunch isn't a subject what Definitely is definitely not a subject. I mean, it's valid. I'm not saying it's not valid. We studying sandwiches now <laughs> Like cooking. Okay cooking like they had cooking in my high school as a class They have cooking in college too. I don't know lunch is ass I feel like if we're talking about actual subjects gym is gonna be number one on here and people in the comments are oh, we're technically lunch is not a <clears throat> You can't forget oh wait, I did just say that actually Bro, you can't diss lunch. I guess the mm. only thing that's really bad about it is the food. But you actually get to talk to your homies. There's roast battles. There's rap battles. What's mm. not to love about lunch? I don't care if it's a subject or not. It's the best thing on this list. I mean, compared to everything else on this list. That's nah, after a certain point for me, it's like, I couldn't be sitting at the table with, 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 with the n that were just roasting. Because as soon as they came to you, like, it would just be random. They'd be like, hey, I know you're not talking, bro. I know you're not talking. And then all of your fucking... Your, your whole career is done. You're done for after that. That's why I couldn't be doing it. After, literally, bro, after, like, my freshman and sophomore year, there was, like, this big table, bro. There was this big table with these guys. They always be roasting each other, doing this and that. After that, bro, after my sophomore year, I stopped sitting around there. <laughs> I just sat with, like, a couple of my other friends, or I just, well, I, I couldn't do that. I know Tommy couldn't roast. I couldn't roast. I swear to you, I was so bad. Like, it was terrible performance. Honestly, roasting a lot of times, it's just, like, combining random words and we're talking about school roasting. It's just like combining a bunch of random words. It don't even be making sense, honestly. It's rare to get like an actual accurate, precise roast. The class, obviously, Imagine is the Imagine fat best Tommy thing trying Next to work Next up, we got roast. Jim. Now, you obviously knew this was going to be in second place. Okay, Jim, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we knew Jim was going to be here. The street's saying that Tommy got to stuttering at the lunch table. I, I genuinely, I might have been stuttering. I don't know. I, I just tried to stay out of harm's way. I pleaded Jim is just too goaded compared to the other classes. I guess the only hmm. con about Jim is that sometimes you don't want to do this shit at 7 in the morning, bro. That's a little bit much. And some of hmm. the activities... Nah, but it waked you up, though. No, that was the worst, though. If you had, like, the first, or if you have, I guess... If you're in school, like the first gym gym class, that's your thing. Cause you're gonna smell like ass, bro. Like imagine your crushes in your your uh last uh period, you know what I'm saying? Of the day, last class of the day. Suck like the pacer test. Everybody's trying to play sports or a fun game or something like that. There's some mm. sports that I'm not really a big fan of, like soccer, hockey. I didn't particularly mm. like those days, but it was better than the no, goddamn pacer test. Sometimes the worst part about gym is when that taco or burrito day is hitting your stomach right after lunch. Like I'm over here feeling like I ate a gordita crunch from Taco Bell. Somebody <laughs> hits me with one dodgeball, a truckload of shit is flying out of my pants, dude. But obviously some of the best moments of gym class outweigh this by a ton the mm. gym scooters that big ass parachute and dodgeball bro this is when life started to fall after this after they stopped using this in like gym classes this is when the shit was low-key mid after that this was like the good times man i didn't even have like we didn't even have like any dodgeball thing that was going on in, in my high school like we never had a dodgeball match or nothing man dodgeball is fun why did we never have that oh man that's when gym class was in its prime but i think you know when it comes to gym class we got to talk about the gym sweats bro you mm. are not getting drafted to the nfl because you got six touchdowns in a gym football game pipe the f down <laughs> i'm sure every nfl scout is cool off watching a gym football game study hall but actually um study hall i never had study hall in my school like i'm pretty sure we did but my school was so ghetto because like as soon as we had the study hall for like 30 minutes or an hour kids would just leave the school like legit half the school would be empty because kids would just like dip they would dip and never come back <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm pretty sure by the time I got to my school, like they removed it. I wish I had study hall, the f study hall. It's supposed to be like a little break you get through the day. Honestly, it should be like implemented in every school because you need a break throughout the whole, not just like a lunch or something like that. You need an actual break. Cause the lunch, like the lunch cafeteria is always chaotic. It's always going to be chaotic and shit. They need to just add like this break permanently. So you can, like just rest your mind or something. Daddy, how is, I didn't ask for your opinion, dude. Shut the study hall is so good. Mm. You can literally just sit down, do homework if you want. Just get that shit out the way, play games or hell. You could just sleep if you wanted to. That's what I would do most of my time in study hall. But That's probably what me, I would have been doing. I was doing. locked in on cool math games like crazy. I was playing run duck's life, the papa's game. Oh my God. I miss, I miss duck's life. Oh, and you bet your ass I beat every single game that I played. And now the reason why I play Study Hall 3rd, I feel like sometimes it can be hit or miss depending on the teacher that you have. I feel like it could be like that for any class, but for this one, it's either really good or just absolutely terrible. Because if your teacher's an op, you're not going to be able study to play hall, every Sometimes my teachers sleep. would pull up land school, which basically what it was, it would watch over everybody's screen. But whenever oh, what happened, the hell? I just get all oh, my homework know. done so I didn't have to do it later. Honestly, the worst mm. part about school's got to be homework. So the fact that I can just get that that done early clutches up and if i had some spare time i would just knock right out next on our list we got business and now the reason why i place this business they be having bit wait business class y'all had business class shit what school do what schools do y'all go to yes damn i guess my school was just bad then i have that in my school first time i seen business class is when i got into college bro Let's keep one going. fourth is because it's actually Bill Gates teaching. These kinds of classes teach you how it's to all manage privilege. money, stocks, and other investments you can make, and how to run a business. Mm. These were the best classes. This would definitely be useful. High school, honestly, I feel like because all the other classes just. But not, not everybody like, would be business minded. When am I ever minded. going to use math again? I'm a huh? fucking YouTube. But taking some of these classes Facts. in school just gave me a basic understanding of all this stuff. So I'm not completely mm. clueless when I get out into the real world. Next on the list, we got cooking classes. I don't know how many of you had to take cooking. A cooking was I had this in my school. Cooking was comp. I was so mad i didn't get to take it because like you would legit go in the class the ingredients would be there and you would just eat bro you would just be eating man you can make desserts whatever like people would legit come out of cooking class with like pancakes and stuff and i'd be so mad remember my friend pulling up with like a three stack of pancakes bro fatty i was of course i wanted to be in the, the cooking class bro what do you think it was how do you think i was feeling back then i was literally crying it's like that that meme of the tear with the kid I know the meme of the kid and the tears slowly going down his face. That's how I was feeling. Cooking Explain class. Explain to me how that school. makes sense. I never did. And now I have no idea how to cook. They did I know you how a to favor. Cook maybe one or two different things. No, I can outcook anybody in this chat. I gotta do a cooking stream. I can outcook 99% of people in this chat. When I move out on my own, I'm gonna be f I'm gonna have to eat. Is that hamburger helper? Yeah, no, you gotta, hey, birdie, you gotta, you gotta get something else, man, other than hamburger helper. TV dinners every other Cook night. Cook and so why, why did you? Why are you naming so Ethiopian useful, food? Especially if somebody in your family all can't things. really teach you. Because as somebody who almost set their house on fire with microwave mac and cheese, I can say that cooking is a skill you need to know in your life. Trust me. Next on the list, mm, we got driver's true. ed. And now tell me now. Dri they have driver's class in school? Driver's ed is so f***ing boring. Oh my god, like this class Cap? is insufferable. Okay, I think he means like ranking school. So he's just putting like every like different type of class. Yeah, no, driving school. Oh my god, that was the worst shit I ever went through. I had a terrible, I had a terrible driving school teacher. Oh my god, she was so fucking up. I damn near failed the class. They almost made me fail the class. And it irritated me. Yeah, driver's ed is just annoying. So as unfortunate I'm so glad as I don't is, have to ever do that again. You really need to know. Because again, you gotta drive every day. It's just something you're gonna have to know. Now, in mm. my case, I chose not to take driver's ed at my school. So instead, I had to sit there for six hours on a Saturday. And I had to do this for six weeks. I had to watch a bunch of boring ass so videos, annoying. go through shitty lectures. And it was quite the crew as well. Obviously, that didn't help. And it would be showing like videos. It would be like a PSA of like... <laughs> A drunk driving y'all seen the drunk driving psa's and it'd be like this is why you shouldn't drink and drive meanwhile brother people there are like they don't give a f how many people on drivers ed are legit there because they have to re-get their license because they were they got like a DUI or something one bit there was one dude on the staff that was a heavy <clears throat> learning how to smoke. drive off his youtube voice videos like his lungs were just about to collapse any second <laughs> all right welcome to the class i've been smoking for 40 years like dead ass the oh, entire no. building smelt like cigarette smoke next on the list we got wood shop now why a place is mm. one seventh although wood shop is dope as fuck you could use a saw you can i never had this i never had this wood shop i, I never had this it seems cool though because like you just get a bunch of tools and you just cut things it does seem cool 
take anything you want out of wood. That dude Honestly, at Tommy's really voice, it. that is There's not my not voice. not much more than that. But the idea of it is still kind of cool, though. What I've heard from other people's experiences, they usually my ask them to make a table or a birdhouse. But I'm gonna be honest, though, if I was tasked with making a fucking birdhouse, it would be the shittiest birdhouse from the trenches. It would look like it survived a shooting in O Block, got ran over by mm. a few cars, sitting in sewage for weeks, and we are 100% not graduating school with this. This shit's some straight ad. I'm sure we've all- Yeah, what is Woodshop even gonna do for you? Like, are you gonna, like, build a house or something? Or is, is the point of it you're supposed to, like, build your own house? What the- what the- is the point of it i'm really thinking of like what's the point in taking it i guess you learn to be a little bit more handy but it's not like bro you're gonna have to do like trade school or something after that that intrusive thought yo what if i just carpenter my job possibly language i mean i they guess say that french and spanish languages, are the most mm. romantic languages in the world maybe if i learn them i, w I was low-key like i, I was with my, my spanish teacher bro i was with my spanish teacher it's crazy bro I, I there was a bunch of spanish kids in my class in in, in in spanish class in high school and they failed and i passed so like i don't know maybe maybe i need to fully uh grasp my espanol and tap into my espanol uh uh features imagine failing at your own language okay to be fair bro these were like some thug edgar niggas like legit bro it's the exact like you see the average hood nigga you see bro O block chief keith take a mirror image of that it was like exactly that bro but but edgar instead so like they did not care um, i can finally get some action i placed this eighth because learning a language can be useful but bro you can literally just use duolingo and you can work mm. at your own pace so taking an entire class on it is just straight ass compared to duolingo the fact that you're That's graded on it makes me not want to learn it at all and most schools are like you're either taking spanish or french like there's no other option and if you could pick the language, i mean they're most popular be cool right because i really need to tap in i know man cool. mandarin is the most popular but ain't nobody trying to respectfully learn mandarin i'm not trying to learn that or more i'm downloading duolingo after this video and i'm learning italian swear to god i'm going to italy in a few years i can't mm. go there and just be absolutely clueless i'm gonna look like a f literally the one reason i would learn italian is coming is because of the women there man italian women just got it an idiot like i at least gotta know something my school's though. teaching Next russian we got oh, hell no nah. now i gotta say science was one of the most mm. fun science eh, i don't really have any opinions on science science each subjects I've been in. There's like Are we thinking of the same people? I'm talking about like the model S the best women there, okay? Them, because some of the experiments that you would do were cool. And shit like biology, it was just lame as shit. I'm not gonna lie. I had to study mm. bacteria in a microscope. That was the lamest thing I've ever done. But in classes like chemistry, there was this experiment with fire that we did. That was cool as fuck. Next on the list, mm. we got tech classes. Now, most tech classes... See, I like tech classes because my, my, my degree in, in college was IT. So like, yeah aren't bad but some of them were just boring as shit now my tech no no they were okay basic tech classes like when i was in middle school bro we had to take a tech class and one of them one of the assignments was literally to open a fucking google doc and type in your name it's like how dumb do you think we are bro how dumb do you think the younger generation is that i gotta do that but i mean it was free it was a free uh free free work i just did it instructor was the biggest it name. degrees are for nerds and that's why i was gonna well i was gonna get paid but like i don't gotta use it i don't gotta use that degree anymore but uh, i you, you man I, I i can make money at my school bro like everybody we did that in my english class this motherfucker put himself in front of a green screen this dude was like running next to a cheetah that? is that supposed to be neon what the hell the dance floor and just started dancing and anytime oh, we nah. had a problem with our computer this dude would tell us to power refresh, refresh our computer. computer like that was gonna do anything and then he one day taught mm. us about browser history i mean that one came in handy for when i was in middle school for sure like come on the bro. hell you have to spend a whole class teaching that next on the list we got art now in most cases Y'all know I'm the best artist. Y'all know I'm the best artist here. I'm the best. I'm, I'm the most amazing artist out of everybody here, man. Art, uh, yeah, I failed art, though. I, I, I did fail art. I definitely failed. <laughs> no, I did ass. I'm really thinking. I got like an E. We didn't have Fs in my school. I got an E in art. Okay, tell me what to draw. On the real, I could actually like, if y'all tell me what to draw. A toilet. All right, ready? 60 seconds, 60, 60 seconds. We're done. We're done. That's valid. That's valid. You can't tell me that's not valid. You can't tell. Let me draw the person on it, okay? See, y'all just be hating, bro. Is that not a perfectly well toilet? 
the Austrian painter. All right, whatever. You know what? Some of you guys clearly just don't have the merits for this. Not everybody's ready for this talk. Art can be a really relaxing class. I can't draw for shit. That's why it's as low as it is. Like you get a mm. teacher with a stick up their ass that cares I so much. shit, if you can't draw, Birdie, then I can't draw. Watch about every little detail in your art. That just ruins the class, in my personal opinion. Like, my fourth grade art teacher deadass just grabbed my artwork and just threw it in the fucking trash Damn. when I didn't make a straight line. Like, all right, bro, it's not that serious. Next on the list, we got music. Same type of deal. I have no idea. Music I class? Oh, this is band class? Yeah, I was not. I was not a band kid. I was not a band kid. Definitely was not a band kid. Idea how to play an instrument. I'm sure everybody in elementary school had to play w a band. W band. That's how it always Mid. went. And when it was my turn to go, I would just completely f it up. There was absolutely no saving me whatsoever. Mm. And then the oh no, I did have a music class. We had to get the yo. Did y'all ever have to get the recorders? <laughs> how many people had to get the recorders for like their music class? They had me. They had me do that shit. I think we had to like it was like the the final assignment. We had to take play like a basic recording thing or whatever in front of the whole class. I was just like, no, I'm not doing it. And I failed. I failed. Me, me, I, I just, it, it was so bad. It, it was, it was so bad. Teacher would just be like, Birdie, look at the music. Telling me to look at the music. Why do you look at a bunch of fucking notes, man? I, what is a note? Like, what does what that even mean? Saying? What is oh, a yeah, note? I can't play an instrument if my Doesn't make any sense. on it, but I love listening to music. But as school went on for me, music kind of got better because it became more about learning about artists. And I thought that shit was kind of cool. Like I got mm. to sit in class and learn about Michael Jackson for a full hour. Like that's actually dope. That beats most of these subjects, honestly. But next up on the list, we got public speaking. Now I hate- I've- <laughs> I never had this, man. Yeah, do y'all have like stage fright or like public anxiety or public? Like, could y'all go on a stage in front of like, let's say 10 people and give like a little speech? 10 people. I'm gonna keep upping it. Okay, let's say 10 people. Could y'all go in front of 10 people and give like a speech? Yes, yes, never, no, no, no. I feel like everybody could. Like, 10 people, you probably like, if you're around family, around Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever, you probably gave like, you probably said something. All right, let's up it. 50 people. Could you do 50 people? Would die? No, no, no. Yes, yes. A hundred people. A hundred people. That's a lot of bodies in the room. Hell no. Nah. No, yep. It's actually crazy, bro, because I was at my friend's graduation. Like, it's kind of a thing, an Ethiopian culture thing, kind of, where, like, you have to give, like, a speech for your friend at their graduation. I don't know. Maybe I'm different. I I've done that a lot. So, like, I'm not really too scared of, like, public speaking, but I haven't been on, like, a full stage, only me, like, full on, something like that. I haven't done that. I probably would, like, a hell of people. I'd definitely be nervous as shit. <laughs> this shit with all my guts bro the amount of presentations you gotta do in this class is crazy i, I just hate presenting to begin with even though this youtube mm. video is going to be seen by thousands of people i can mm. pre-make it but for a presentation shit's gotta be on the spot yeah it's so definitely different i'm gonna be a lot more nervous and if especially if it's like most creators to be honest yeah. shit about i'm not maybe trying to have a social speech anxiety. on king henry the 55th bro no one's gonna even pay attention anyways half the class is gonna be dead asleep bro nobody cares i promise you but if you are in some sort of public speaking class and you got to present no one's gonna remember your presentation unless you do a bad that's true at that point like you shouldn't even care like being scared to present like a group project the problem is though that people like some especially if your friends are laughing or like the annoying girls in the back hee -hee, like they're laughing about you giving your your your, your presentation is like come on other than that though you shouldn't really be scared Backflip and then start hitting goofy ass dances in the middle of the class. If you just do a normal ass <clears throat> presentation, nobody's gonna remember. What I would do mm. is I would write an entire script like I'm recording a YouTube video and I would get through these no problem. Although every time I did mm. that, the teacher would bitch at me and be like, um, no notes allowed. I mean, I really didn't give a shit. I just oh, did nah. it anyway. But these next classes, these are like bottom of the barrel. These are the Damn. worst of the worst, bro. If you're in any of these classes- Did he put math already? Pre-math. I'm praying for you. These suck so bad. History. History is what? so- What? Nah, man. I f*** with history. I feel like my, my, my likeness to history has changed. Like, like the thing- You know what changed it for me genuinely? It's been like creators. Because I'll see creators talk about a historical event. See a YouTube video. Maybe a TikTok. And I'm like, wow, that's really interesting. Like, I want to learn more about this now. And I'll watch it. But like, okay. I understand like you sitting down and looking at a history book and all that as boring. But if you're looking at like a YouTuber explaining the history 
adding like some animations, this and that. It's cool, bro. I feel like it's cool. Oh, boring. I never wanted to knock out more in a class and in my entire life. I mean, some parts of history, okay, I could sit through. It's not that big of a deal. But one mm. year in school, I had to learn about caveman. Like, I couldn't give any less of a shit, <laughs> dude. And it was for the entire year a as history well. Teacher's like, I'm a not weirdo? learning about caveman, dude. This is so boring. Like, yeah, cool. They invented fire. Like, what else do I gotta know? And how do you talk about that subject matter for the entire year? If I had to teach that for an entire year, I would just quit my job. I'm resigning today. I'm putting in my two weeks. I don't care how fucking mm. broke I am. And every year I would get a big ass textbook. Then the teacher would just walk around, just start slamming it on people's desks and shit. Like I could do a goddamn dumbbell curl with that thing. Yeah, but the no, fact no that trying I to read that. around the textbook with me is insane. Oh yeah. And by the way, we had computers. Yeah, we did. But I still had to mm. use a textbook anyway. The second worst class has got to be math. All right. A lot of you. Yeah. No, it should be first. Math should be first. Should be first. 100% math first. If you like math, I don't know. I mean, the thing is with math, with math, you could, if you find, if you get flowing in math, if you, if you really get your shit flowing, then you're flowing, bro. I feel like if you literally are perfect at math, you're perfect at anything. You could do anything. You could be in tech. You could be, uh... In accounting, you could be in any industry, entertainment, it don't matter. If you're good with math, it means most likely you're really good with numbers. You're like, I'm talking about if you're, okay, I'm talking the higher levels of math, by the way. Like, the higher levels of algebras, the fucking trigonometries, all that shit. If you're good with that, I'm thinking you're like almost damn near a genius. I have a 38% in math. Oh, see, okay, I was never that bad. I was never that bad at math. Ever, ever that bad. All right. Just know that. You definitely saw this coming. I mean, I'm really bad at math, me personally. Every test I failed mm -hmm. in school was a math test. So it doesn't exactly surprise English isn't I mean, that bad. English is my favorite. Class and just I feel like English is going to be like the worst he puts here. Yeah, hieroglyphics on the board. Yeah, no one's trying to look at that. Start. And honestly, bro, math after middle school is so useless. Like, what are you going to do with fucking geometry, bro? If it's not in your career <laughs> path in the slightest, it's just not useful at all. I left high school. I passed geometry, calculus, all these fucking classes. I could not tell you how to do them anymore. I don't know. And I absolutely hated those speed math tests. That was the most anxiety. And nah, bro. The speed math test proved your integrity in life. The speed math test. I think I did it before. I did it on stream. You got a, you got a good solid score, man. You were smart. You was destined for greatness. And I got great scores. And look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm greatness right now. <laughs> I'm basically greatness. They gave me depression in the third grade. <laughs> hey, they, they, they were fun though. I, I, I rock with them thing ever imagine giving a first grader a sheet of addition problems and saying fill this out you got 30 seconds like mm. i swear to god the amount of stress i felt i felt like i was about to like defuse a bomb or some shit but for math it's like you gotta be a math person i guess and for those people it just comes easy for them and for the rest of us this shit's like fucking building a rocket like it's just not happening in the worst class i gotta say by far is english yes yeah, nah man see i just gotta disagree bro i loved english I loved English, and as y'all can tell by the enunciation of my vernacular words I put together in, in a string of letters, I'm, I'm great at it. I'm great at it. But I'm being so serious, man, okay? Tommy, you stutter. You stutter all the time. No, no, okay? Stutters come out because I'm looking at the chat. I'm looking at a video. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to focus on something. That's why the stutter, stutters come out. I'm actually the best. I swear to you, on F I can almost promise on my parents' life, but I'm not going to do that, bro. I can almost beat 99% of people here anything English. And anything English. Anything grammarly, English-wise, anything like that. Look at y'all, yapped in underpants, yeah. You see, this is like, this is what we call f***ing dumb assetry in my chat. Y'all are dumb assing in my chat. Y'all don't even think. I'm talking, y'all are saying yap. Yap has ruined our generation. The f*** is wrong with y'all? What the f*** is wrong with y'all, bro? Y'all can't sit here and watch a 10-minute video if there's in Subway Surfers. And, 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 I don't know, bro, nigga getting on the left and then on the right side you got to be scrolling on twitter and on the bottom you got to be watching a mr beast video it's sad seriously i couldn't give any less of a fuck about the most insignificant details in a book like the author making a carpet blue has no significance to the meaning of the story if you enjoyed this video mm. i'm sure you'll oh that's english well i mean english includes grammar too so yeah i like english all right anyways um w video man from birdie good video um yeah so <clears throat> anyways look at you you guys are still typing yap like i straight up have a gen alpha chat this is this is terrible this is terrible but uh yeah just stay in school guys and if you're watching this on the tube join the discord